Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 30th July. The FIA numbers are not looking good. Ever since the budget, the sell number has been dominating the buy number. In fact, if tomorrow is a bad day, then they may turn negative for the month. Now, couple of highlights. We are about to end the earnings season also. Auto four stocks are in that 90 to 100 percent zone, nearly at lifetime highs. The remaining two are in the 80 to 90 percent zone. Banking, there are zero stocks in 90 to 100 percent zone. Three stocks are in the 80 to 90 percent zone. This is out of nine. 33 percent stocks only are 80 percent or above their 52 week highs. IT, despite what I call not so good results, three stocks are in the 90 to 100 percent zone. What I'm trying to indicate here is the euphoria is really, really concentrated in certain sectors that too only in the top stocks. So this rally is all about 5 to 10 stocks, not about 50 stocks which comprise Nifty. Top sector though it is not in the top 3 in terms of size, electrical utilities, the power pack, followed by auto diversified retail which is Adani Enterprises. On the downside beverages, there is one stock which was down, Varun Beverages. This stock before today's fall is of the size of Indian Oil Corporation. Not many people realize this. Very large size company, fantastic result today, but seems like some big player was offloading their stake. Very high volumes, the highest I've seen in about 20 months time. As a result, the stock tanked 6.4%. Today, the balance was about 50-50. Banking was here, keeping the sector up only. But IT was dragging, oil and gas was dragging. Power pack, NTPC up, power grid up. The summers have been kind for the power pack, let me say that. Adani Energy also picked up today 7%. Adani Pack, at least in the power, there are three companies, they have been gradually going up. Nifty had a comical graph today. It actually went literally nowhere at the end of the day. This was nearly a 175 point range. Majority of the day, it was in the green. That too, good size green. Corrected severely towards the end, heavy profit booking. Bank Nifty, similar graph. What this means is banks were dominating Nifty today. So Reliance was down half percent, HDFC up, ICIC down 0.5 percent. Bharti has been correcting. Four out of five days it has been down. ITC continued the correction, 1.18 percent down. Overall, besides HDFC, there was actually no one who withstood the selling towards the end. Today, all the news is about results. IOC profit falls 75 percent. Tata consumer profit falls 8.5%. Varun beverages profit rises 26%. ACC profit down 22%. Hindustan Petro net profit down 87%. Colgate profit up. Maruti Suzuki profit up. Now what you will observe is selectively Q on Q. This is Hindustan Petro. IOC this is Y on Y. Nifty no green in the last 5 days. Bank Nifty also didn't go anywhere. Nifty IT 0.3% down. Nifty energy up significantly a percent. Next 50 which is mostly mid caps 0.1% down. Defense down another 0.3%. Reliance went up, came down. TCS also hugely volatile. HDFC continuously climbed but towards the end gave up all the gains. ICICI just like HDFC gave up the gains towards the end of the day. ATL down continuously. Infosys was reverse. HUL down whole day, ITC down whole day, LNT went up, stayed up. So banks, there were two synchronized spikes, one on the upside, which was around here, and then towards end when everyone went down. Impossible to trade unless you are lucky or you know that this injection is going to happen. Volumes continue to be high for most banks. Defense was really choppy, GRSE upper circuit, Cochin shipyard nearly upper circuit, but most of the stocks again started at the top of the day and came down. HL nearly started at the highest point of the day, came down sharply. Mazgaon Dock started at the top of the day, then came down. Metals looked a bit bullish today also. Overall, Hindalco was down a percent. Otherwise, the index would have been up a lot more. IT bleeding enforces up a little bit. Power pack we discussed. Oil-wise, Lions corrected. ONGC corrected. Nearly all oil companies have had this pattern in Q1. I studied the results. Most of it is cost, buying at a higher price and not passing the price rise to the consumers. Their profit has been hit primarily because of elections. Yesterday, 30 sectors were up. Today, 20 sectors were up. 
एज अ रिजल्ट ग्रीड केम डाउन टू ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट टॉप कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर्स पावर पैक ऑटोमोबाइल्स डाइवर्सिफाइड रिटेल बैंकिंग एरोस्पेस एंड डिवेंस टूडे प्लस टेन डेज हैज बीन अप ओनली फॉर थ्री डेज सेम फॉर केमिकल्स होटेल्स ऑन द अदर हैंड रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी ऑटो इलेक्ट्रिकल यूटिलिटीज फार्मा पर्सन एंड हाउस होल्ड दे हैव बीन अप अ लॉट इन द लास्ट इलेवन डेज सो दिस नंबर इंडिकेट्स द करंट ट्रेंड Maruti's results were good. Tata Motors results are tomorrow. When Tata Motors is up 3.3 percent, the sector will be up only. With this gain, Tata Motors is now at the top again. Coal India up. Results are tomorrow 1.4 percent, nearly at 52 week high already. The results should be good only. This is in line with the power sector to some extent. LNT up a bit. RVNL up 1.3 percent. So the construction engineering pack was up. Cement sector was down half percent. ACC results not good. The sell-off was minor, but high volumes. Nike was up 9.4 percent today, 52-week high nearly. Look at the P ratio, 1523. Deep cuts in food and tobacco, ITC, Nestle, Britannia, Tata Consumer. The results of Tata Consumer were not good. Adani Wilmer also, I mentioned yesterday, it will go up for few days. The problem with Adani Wilmer is you don't know when the rise will suddenly stop. Because after that, it falls for several days. Insurance SBI life was down. Everyone else was up. Motel also all has been going up like a rocket up today. Also very high volumes across the sector. One good part about this particular sector is it goes up with the economy as the trading volumes as stock prices go up. Nearly every company here will reflect the growth in the economy. Heavy machinery was in bad shape today. Siemens, ABB, Havel, CG Power, BHL down nearly two percent. Consumption pack Colgate was up after the results, but it is very expensive at 64 p. Very predictable business, very predictable stock grows at a steady state. The remaining stocks HUL, Godrej, Dabur, Procter and Gamble were down a lot. Pharma C of red. Real estate was stock specific today. Specialty retailers up. Titan Page Industries up. Airtel was down. All other telecom companies were up, but Airtel is too big. As a result, the sector was down. Nifty Fifty twenty eight stocks down twenty two up. Tata Motors, NTPC, HDFC, Power Grid, Titan, Asian Paints they were taking the indices up. Reliance, ITC, Airtel, TCS, Sun Pharma, HUL they were dragging the indices down. Next Fifty was no better twenty seven stocks down twenty three up. Adani Energy up most seven percent followed by Colgate, Berger, Adani Wilmer, Trent. Varun Beverages was down most followed by Torrent Pharma, Godrej, Avenue Supermarkets which is D Mart. ABB HL most PSU banks were down now there are days when you look in the mirror and have a laugh at yourself i had one of those days today so GRSC and Cochin shipyard which i sold yesterday went up a lot today i used that money to buy two stocks VBL and Saturn Credit Saturn has its results tomorrow VBL fantastic results today or the stock fell within half an hour of me buying that too my quantity was large as well as the fall was big So big cut lost about 50k here, and this is down about 50k right now. But it seems like someone offloaded the stock today, profit booking. Hopefully, it will recover in next two three days. Good stock. I haven't lost faith in it. Certain. Let's see. I typically buy it around result season, just before the results. So tomorrow we'll see. In fact, next two three days whether it goes up or not. Today I sold off Indusind. I've been talking about it last few days. But overall, I have watched my own video two three times and realized that there is not much to take the stock up right now. But there are enough reasons for Indusind to fall. So probably I'll postpone the decision to keep it in the long term portfolio for now. There was some profit on the table, so I took it. Eat Berry, I forgot yesterday. I had sold it yesterday only. This was from the mid term or long term portfolio. The profit was good yesterday. It was up nearly nine ten percent through the IDFC results. There was not much in the results actually, so I thought I'll cover it in today's update. Price wise, there has been a run up already in IDFC, though off late it has corrected a bit. The P ratios have been down only, though EPS has climbed up, but EPS is steady with downward bias. As a result, the P has been on the downward side only. Quarterly results: eight seven eight nine crore, eight two two zero, seven eight eight zero, seven three five six. Overall, the numbers. in terms of revenue have been going up steadily so there is no break in the trend here other income like most banks has dipped this quarter it however has gone up like most banks year on year i will show you the provisions in the main sheet how our provisions have gone up as a result there has been significant dip in the net profit which reflects in the eps number also down nearly 10% in eps both quarter on quarter and year on year market does not like this dip in eps in fact provisions is something most people will not even reach See here, 
provisions and contingencies 994 crore previous quarter it was 722 crore previous year it was 476 crore so nearly double provisions which means they are expecting some more bad loans and are provisioning them right now while provisioning is great it does take a lot out of net profit for now this quarter is bad for next 3 months i don't see any good news coming up there is a merger which is going to happen between idfc first and idfc limited and after that the comparison will become even more difficult now in terms of npa ratios 1.9% gross npa compared to 1.88 2.17 so minor uptick in the q on q number annual number has gone down year on year net npa also is down if anyone still wants to buy for long term maybe not at current level because if market's correct then the support is around 5253 only the problem is after that the next support is coming at 30 levels there is literally no support nothing here also beyond this nothing here in terms of support overall market usually likes idfc first because it is usually an undervalued stock there is a lot of demand or interest in general but i didn't see anything in the results because of which i would change my decision to a buy right now they need to do lot more than what they are doing right now also we have seen in case of hdfc's merger that immediately after the merger next two three quarters there was actually nothing in terms of gain because of the merger same thing i expect for idfc also i think one year one and a half year the stock is probably not going anywhere thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow